It's really easy to get distracted. When you are trying to work on something, like mathematics or physics, or any subject that requires a lot of concentration, it's a lot easier to put it off and get distracted with YouTube, with your phone, or other things. In this video, we're gonna talk about some strategies that you can use to help you focus. Because people who are successful at a thing, they tend to have the ability to give that thing 100% of their concentration. This video is completely inspired by an email I received from a subscriber here on the channel. So I'm gonna start this video by reading the email. I won't mention the person's name, the subject is advice, and the message reads as follows. Hello, sir. I am Random from India, and I am 15 years old. I wanted to write this email to you long ago and was not sure if you would respond. Then I saw the video where you read the 16-year-old's email. I am currently in 11th grade, and I study math, generally Indian math, physics, chemistry, and computer science. I was a top scorer and was the valedictorian from my second grade till my seventh grade. And then disaster striked when COVID hit us. I completely changed. Learning was something I was doing with the back of my hand, but now I am unable to do anything. I want to be the top of my class. I am not failing, but I am not the best either. By the way, I am standing the fifth rank in my class and I'm really struggling to get first. I like math and physics, but every time I want to study, I get distracted and start watching YouTube and playing games. How can I get the motivation and that push to start studying my subjects? Please answer this. I want to study, but I am not able to actually do it. I am easily distracted. My parents, too, want me to be better, but they are not able to do anything, too. I know this is a long email, but please help me. I would really love that. Thank you. Well, first, let me say thank you so much for your email. I, I really appreciate it. And I do have some advice. First, let me say that I think you're doing awesome, OK? I think you're doing really, really well. You are not failing. You are number five in your class, and you're trying to be number one, which I think is really, really good, right? Because when you try to be the best, you're setting the bar really, really high. So you're working towards something you might never get, but it doesn't matter because even if you become close to being the best, you're still probably going to be okay and end up with a pretty good grade. So keep doing that. Keep trying to be the best. So I have two simple strategies that I'm going to recommend in this video that you try. And I want everyone watching this video to recommend other things. If you have other things you can tell this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna recommend, and this is just something that I used to do and I still do today most of the time, is I get up early and I get to work. Um, I feel like when you create a routine, where you get up early and you do mathematics or physics, which whatever you're trying to focus on, it's going to make a difference. The reason this is so good is because it doesn't take time away from the rest of your day. If you think about it, you're probably already really busy. You said you were taking uh, math, physics, chemistry, and computer science. That, that's, there's no fluff there. All of that is quite challenging. Okay, all that is extremely challenging. I just, I just received an email from someone who was good at math, but they couldn't do chemistry. So you're doing a lot there, and I just want to commend you on that. So if you get up early and you add extra time to your day, basically, that can help. I would say in your case, maybe 30 minutes, you know, at least 30 minutes every morning working on whatever you feel you need the most focus on. And you do this right when you wake up, you know, make it a routine, you have coffee, or whatever you have in the morning, whatever you need to do in the morning to wake up, you do that and you get to work right away on that particular thing. And do that every single day. If you can find the motivation to do that every day, you are going to get better, okay, for sure. 
Okay, for sure. If you do math every day for 30 minutes, like first thing in the morning before you go to school, it's going to make a difference. Most people don't do that because it requires a lot of work and they're already busy with, with their lives. But it's worth it, okay? It's worth it. I mean, people often get up in the mornings and they go for a run, they exercise. That's something people do. But you can apply this to studying as well, okay? It, it really works well especially on test days. Those days when you have those exams, on those days you can get up extra early and maybe study for an hour and a half up to two hours. You don't want to overdo it, right? Make sure you're well rested for that test. But that strategy also works. So the strategy of getting up early and getting it done is, is extremely powerful and I, and I highly recommend it. All right, I have another strategy. I told you I had two. My second one is a little bit more powerful and it's a lot more deep. So. I know you have a goal, I'm sure you do, because you're in school and you probably have some dreams and aspirations, some things you wanna do with your life. You didn't specify this in your email, but the fact that you're so driven and the fact that you're learning so much math, physics, chemistry, and computer science says something about you as, as an individual, as a human being. It says you're motivated and you probably have a goal. So whatever that goal is, whenever you feel like not studying, maybe the goal is just simply to get a good grade. Like whenever you think, hey, oh, math is stressing me out. You know, I'm never gonna get better at math. Stop for a moment and think. What are you doing? You're thinking about something that hasn't happened yet. You're thinking about the future. You're thinking about you not being able to learn math. On the other hand, you could sit there and think about how you could have spent all your time studying math. You could, you could think about the past as well. The point is, when you sit there thinking about things, you're not really doing anything. You need to take action. The mind basically has, in some sense, three states, right? You can think about the past, you can think about the future, or you, or you can think about the present and focus on the present. In order to get yourself to do mathematics when you don't wanna do math, realize that. Realize that you need to be in the present. If you want to learn mathematics, if you want to get better at math, you have to do math, and the only way you will do that is if you realize that right now, at this very moment in time, this is the present. So when do you have to do math? Right now. Because if you don't do it right now, you're not gonna do it. I mean, you could do it later, sure, but you're just putting it off, right? You have to have that sense of urgency, and that sense of urgency is created when you realize that only your actions can affect your future, okay? You have to take action to affect your future. You can't just think about it. So whenever you're sitting there thinking like, oh, I really should be doing math, stop and say, hey, wait a minute. I'm not gonna get better unless I go do it. Let me just go do it right now. And honestly, a lot of times when you do that, you'll get it out of the way, you'll figure something out, and you'll be able to go on with the rest of your day. And then you can play games later, right? Or whatever, you know, go on YouTube and watch videos, whatever. But that will help you. That, that sense of urgency that is created when you realize that in order for you to learn math, you have to take action. And what does that mean? That means being in the present and doing it right now. So that, that should help you a lot. But the morning routine I gave you should also help um, quite, quite a bit. So I just received another, another email from someone here. Oh, it's a blank email. So someone just sent me a question. <laughs> I thought it was a, it's blank. I think they just hit submit and they forgot to type their question. I wouldn't be surprised if it came in again. By the way, if you wanna ask me questions, you can, all of these questions, uh, come from my website. And the reason is it's very easy for me to go into my email and filter those because I have so many emails. I can't, it's too many, right? So if I filter from my website, I can see, I can see when uh, messages come in. My website is freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com. And when you go there, if you click contact, there's a form, you just fill it out. You don't have to put your name, you can put a fake name. You don't have to put your email address or anything and just type whatever and you know, yeah. It goes, it goes to, my, uh, to my email. So that is my advice. Um, I think you're in good shape because you're, you're already trying to be the best. You already have that attitude. And like I said at the beginning of the video, you know, when you try to be the best and you fail, then you still end up pr doing pretty well. You know? So yeah. If anyone has advice, leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you want to learn math, I have courses. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, please use the links in the description of this video. As always, keep doing mathematics.